Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss proof of this theorem. So this theorem is related with with power series summation c n x raised to n. Okay. So this power series we have, and we have alpha is also. So alpha is defined in this way. So let us note down the given alpha. We have what is value of alpha? It is limit supremum of mod. C n raised to one minus. So in this way they have defined alpha. Let us note down the given power series also. We have summation n running from zero to infinity C n x raised to n. So this is a power series we have, and we have to prove that its radius of convergence is one by alpha, where alpha is defined in this way. What we have to prove? We have to prove its radius of convergence is one by alpha. the meaning of radius of convergence we have already seen in our previous video right so let us start to discuss so what will i do i am going to compare this series with a series of real numbers comparing it let me write comparing it with so we know that series of real numbers generally we write in this way summation n this time we have a power series so if you compare you can easily say n is equal to c n x raised to n. So let me write here. Then the value of n is c n x raised to n. So before starting the actual proof, I am going to work on one simple thing. Okay, I am going to find the value of one limit. So let us find it first. We have some space. Let us use. Okay. So consider. consider so first of all i'm going to find the value of limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod n raised to 1 by n. so its value i'm going to calculate let us see what will be its value so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of what is our n our n is c n x raised to n i will put it here raised to 1 by n. this is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of we know that if mod is there and multiplication is there we can take separate separate mod as well as the power we have one by n. so you can take separate separate power so we will have mod cn raised to 1 by n. and here also mod x raised to n raised to 1 by n. so what will happen that raised to n and raised to 1 by n will get cancel to each other so we will have limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod c n raised to 1 by n. so n and 1 by n will get cancel and simply we will have mod x but mod x is independent on this limit this is a limit of n no and there is no any n since that raised to n and 1 by n is already cancelled so we can take it outside the limit and we will have mod x limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod c n raised to 1 by n. this is equal to mod x so tell me have you seen this thing anywhere yes this is value of alpha this is value of alpha so let me write this is equal to alpha so what is value of this limit mod x into alpha so it's so much important part for us see there is no more space to write so make a screenshot of it then i will go further so after that i am going to use root test okay which we have already studied for a series of real numbers let me mention the root uh, ratio or root test so by root test we can write summation n okay so this is series of real numbers is convergent if limit n tends to infinity mod okay I, there is supremum no supremum mod n raised to 1 by n is less than 1 the series is convergent if this limit is less than 1 and obviously and divergent if that limit limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod n raised to 1 by n is greater than 1 this series is convergent if this limit is less than 1 and it is divergent if this limit is greater than 1 but see this series n is nothing but c n x raised to n n is nothing but c n x raised to n so let us write the same thing in terms of power series 
so therefore therefore we can write summation n running from 0 to infinity n is our c n x raised to n so summation c n x raised to n is convergent if is convergent if value of this limit already we have calculated and what is its value mod x into alpha so it is convergent if mod x into alpha sorry into alpha is less than 1 and divergent and divergent if divergent if value of this limit is greater than 1 so what is value of this limit mod x into alpha if mod x into alpha is greater than 1 right so let us write the same thing in another way therefore or that is summation cn x raised to n n running from 0 to infinity is convergent if is convergent if mod x into alpha is less than 1 let us shift alpha on that side okay what i am doing i am shifting alpha on that side then we will have mod x less than 1 by alpha actually i am writing the same statement just by shifting alpha in right hand side okay and divergent and divergent if mod x here also i will shift alpha on that side is greater than alpha okay so it is convergent if mod x less than 1 by alpha and it is divergent if mod x greater than 1 by alpha okay so uh, just make a screenshot of it then i will go further see there will be one possibility maybe you are thinking see we are dividing by alpha here also here also but see if alpha is negative we change the inequality but no need to worry alpha cannot be negative by definition of alpha its value is limit supremum of mod okay so there is mod so that's why it cannot be negative so that's why we will have in this way but see what we have got the series is convergent if mod x less than 1 by alpha and series is divergent if mod x greater than 1 by alpha actually this condition is similar to the definition of radius of convergence when we say r is a radius of convergence if series is convergent if mod x less than r what we say series is convergent if mod x less than r and the series is divergent if mod x greater than r the same situation we have just at a place of r we have 1 by alpha so that's why we can say the radius of convergence is 1 by alpha let me mention here therefore therefore radius of convergence of this series okay what is the series 0 to infinity cn x raised to n is r which is equal to 1 by alpha okay so in this way we proved our radius of convergence is nothing but 1 by alpha see there will be two possibilities if alpha is 0 see if alpha is 0 we will have 1 by 0 which is infinity that means radius of convergence is infinity and in case if we get alpha is infinity then 1 by infinity is 0 that means radius of convergence will be 0 so in this way we proved this theorem make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you